Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Today's video is going to be fairly short because it's just a, a video in response to a person on our Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. Um, and what it was was Bonnie had said, Patty Ann, how do you make your text curvy on this? Because I had shown them this vase that I had made and I put, I made really curvy text on it, if you can see it. Like that. And they were wondering, several people had wondered how I did that. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So hang on. Let's go over to Cricut Design Space and get started. Whoops, I'm on our Facebook group. Let me go there. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to do. And you can see I just said, take me to the beach. And the reason why I had him say that is because we're going to have another cold snap here in North Carolina. Oh, and I'm not looking forward to it. But anyway, so this is the guy I'm going to make. So let me get rid of him and delete him. Let's just start from afresh. Here's where I start with a new canvas. I'm going to go to images over here on the left hand side. And what I originally thought I typed in here was beach. And I tried looking up beach and I scrolled through a bunch of these and I wasn't quickly finding what I was looking for. So I actually remember that he was called a narwhal. Narwhal. N-A-R-W-H-A-L. Narwhal. And so, oh, there he is. Okay. You see, he's $4.99. I'm not exactly sure why he's that expensive. But anyway, I'm going to insert him. And this is just a try. You know, we can play with all these images and we don't have to purchase them. We can just play with them. So here he is and I'm going to have it say, take me to the beach. And the reason why I liked it curved like that was because that kind of reminded me of uh, waves. So one of the very thir first things I did with him though was I grouped him or I grabbed all of him. And then I came up here to the top where it says flip and hit the drop down menu and I wanted him to flip horizontally. See, it's going to flip across this dotted line. If I said flip vertically, it would flip across a dotted line that goes like this, and it would make him upside down. That's not what I want. So let me undo that. And I'm going to select him again, come up here to flip, and flip horizontally, because I want him looking that way. Okay, so then the next thing I did was I started to do my text. So I came over to the text tool and I said, take whoops, me to, and then I hit enter on my keyboard, the beach. Okay, so recall this about whenever you want to, um, curve text. Look, my curve tool is not available. If you'll recall, you cannot curve two lines of text at the same time. So I could either type them in as I had and hit an enter between each one, but then notice it's not available yet. What I have to do is come up here to advanced and ungroup to lines, not letters. If I ungroup to letters, the curve tool will no longer work. I ungroup to lines. So that basically has two lines for me. And to be honest, I also could have done it another way when I put this in here. I could have done the text tool and said, take me to, and clicked off. So that would be the first line of text. And then I come to the text tool again, type in the beach, click off it, and that would be my sex second line of text. Anyway. I'm going, the first thing I think I will do is I'll put these back together and make them a little bit smaller because I think they're kind of big. All right, so they are still, each one is separate. So I'm going, this one's going to go over here somehow and this one's going to go here. I think I will make this one curve downward. So now if I come up here, notice the curve tools available. And I just remember myself, if I push this little dot to the right, this will curve down, so I'll write down. I'm going to curve it down, like, oh, too much, maybe like that, maybe. 
and then I'll move it over here take me to and then this one on the other hand I'm going to curve it up so I'm going to come up again to the curve tool this time I'm going to make the dot go to the left to curve it up and then I can just bring it down here to have them be like that that's a little close maybe there we go so that looks pretty good I might want to grab both of these and move them over a little bit because I'm going to put some hearts over here to go with this. Be kind of a cute little um, little uh, t-shirt to make too. But anyway, what I thought I was going to do is I was going to grab this heart out of here. So I was going to get him and ungroup him so that I could just grab the heart. But when I went to grab the heart, I realized, oh, it has this other piece. So that's not at all what I want. So instead, what I did was I made my own hearts. I just came over to the shape tool, grabbed the heart, and then I just resized it. And I made a bunch of them so I can come over here to the right and just duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four. I think I'll make five of them. So I can just rearrange these any way I like over here, and I can use the rotate button to rotate them. All right, well, I could play around with this, how I have them set on here for a while, but I'll just leave them like this for now. Okay, let's imagine I'm going to do a print and cut. And I want these to be the pinky color like this. This is one of the nice new things about the upgrade they've done to Cricut Design Space. Ordinarily, we would click this one and we would come over to the layers panel and change the color of it, right? Well, right now what we can do is this. We can click this one and I can hold down my shift key and click the other ones that I want to change also. Okay, you notice they're all check, they're all picked there. Or I could come over here in the layers panel and click one, hold down my shift key and click these others. But what's really great is that now, instead of having to do each one of those individually, I could come over here now the line type of this is a cut because it's being cut out of vinyl. I can change its color, all the colors at one time, to the pink. And I think that's really cool. Now if we go to make it, there's going to be a problem with this text. Okay, there's the white layer and there's all these different layers. We get to the hearts and yeah, Cricut's trying to save us some stuff, some materials. And let's see, where was the black? Uh, the take me to the beach is kind of wacko too. So what we do is we cancel this. So what I would probably do is take the take me to the beach, the first part, and the second part. So notice over here they're both selected. And go attach. And then I'd probably grab these hearts if I wanted to and have them at a certain place and attach. And that's probably all I would do. So let's see how that's going to be. Let's go to the black layer. Yeah, see that's how I want it to be. <clears throat> and the pink layer, the hearts are where I want them to be. So that's all I have to do. So that's it. It's as simple as that. Let's try one more to see. Let me hide this whole guy. So let's try one more thing. Let's go to images and let's try uh, something else. How about um, sailboat? Okay, we have a sailboat here. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this one's just going to be kind of cool with just the plain old um, curving of text. So here's the sailboat coming in somewhere or another. Where is it? There it is. 
All right, let's move it up further. You know a nice way if you can't find what you're looking for, if you, and it's on here somewhere you know it, if you highlight the thing over here, and then come up here to where it says position, and you change it to one and a one, that's going to move it up here into the le very left-hand corner at the one by one spot. And there you go. So now I can make it larger. And let's say I want to say, I've never been on a cruise, but let me say cruise time. Cruise time. Okay, and let's pretend I want to make that match this curve right here. So what I can do is I can click on this, and since it's just one layer, the curve tool is available. Now remember, if I go to the right, it's going to make a curve down. I want it to curve up so it kind of matches this. So I'm going to go to the left, cruise time. And that'd be really cute to make it as a t-shirt. And I can adjust the so uh, lots of things about this text. I can even change whatever font it is. Right now, let me just quick one, click one willy-nilly. And I could just click it like that. I can change it. I can change the size of it. I can make all kind of changes to this. But w And the curve tool is still available. I can still curve it. I could curve it more if I wanted to. I could curve it this way if I wanted to. But watch. Once I come over here, let's get that text selected. And I say attach. And I want to click off and then click back on here and I want to curve it. The curve tool is no longer available. The menu has completely changed up here. So let me undo that. Let's detach that, I guess. And now if I click on it, now the curve tool is available again. What about if I weld these together? If I weld those together and then I come up here and I look for the curve tool, again, it's gone. I can undo. <coughs> and it's going to be back. So I'm going to make it much bigger, bring it over, and I'm going to make that little wavy thing again so that we can pretend like that's the waves of the ocean. So I'm going to say ocean cruise. Okay, so there's an issue with what I've just done. I needed to not do this. I either need to put them in separately in separate text boxes, or I need to hit the Enter key to put this on the next line. And then I can work. Right now, again, with both of these two lines, I come up here, there is no way for me to use the Curve tool. If there are two lines of text, it won't work. You can fix that here, though. We can come to Advanced, and we can ungroup to lines. Do not ungroup to letters. If you ungroup to letters, your curve tool will not work. If I ungroup to lines, I will have two separate lines, the ocean and the cruise, and this the Curve tool will work for each of them. I can curve this one maybe down a little bit. Like, no, I think I want to do it up. This one I'll curve up a little bit and bring it over here. And then this one I'm going to curve down a little bit. So I go to the right. Now, if you're not sure, it doesn't matter. Just try it and see what happens. And move that up. Move this one over. And this one. Okay, and so there it is. It looks like it's a little bit of a wave. And you can putz with it a little bit if you want to. You could rotate this a little bit. And maybe rotate this one a little bit. You know, whatever you like to do. But I think that's kind of cute. And I can move this guy down just a bit. So that's it. Just remember, there's a few important things to remember. First, you cannot, um, 
you cannot curve two lines of text at the same time. You either have to input them separately into separate text boxes or come up here to where it says advanced and ungroup two lines. Okay. The other thing is if you want to be able to continue to manipulate how this curve is, you may, must not use any of these buttons down here. You cannot flatten, you cannot attach, and you cannot weld and then continue to use the curve tool. Right now the curve tool is available to me. If I come over here and I say flatten and click on this, notice the curve tool is not available, the menu is gone. But since I didn't flatten ocean, the curve tool is still available. Once I flatten ocean, it will no longer be available. It's no longer available. If I undo this so that now ocean is available as a curve, cruise is still not because I didn't undo that one. But if I come to ocean and then attach, notice again the curve tool is no longer available. I've got to undo. Okay, if I come over here and weld the ocean words, once again, the flatten tool is not, or I'm sorry, the curve tool is not available. If I undo it and click on it, and now the curve tool is available again. The last one to remember is you cannot undo or uh, ungroup to letters and still have the curve tool functionable. So that's it. I hope this helps. I know it was a little longer than I thought it would be, but uh, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and have fun. <laughs> Bye.